The uh, missing at random uh, uh, assumption and the, the notion of ignorability has uh, been used to derive many uh, estimation procedures for missing value setting. Uh, the most famous one being expectation maximization algorithm, which was, I believe, uh, uh, historically introduced for missing values. And really the idea is that we're going to optimize uh, the likelihood that ignores the missing value mechanism by alternating an expectation in the likelihood over the non-observed value and then the maximization of the resulting expression uh, uh, and alternating the two. Another approach, uh, uh, which is maybe uh, uh, simpler uh, often uh, in, in practice, uh, because uh, the problem with, well, uh, the challenge with the expectation maximization is it requires coding a new routine uh, each time you're given a new, a new likelihood problem, not the end of the world. Uh, and uh, so there's another approach, which is to use imputation, which is a routine that will compute the probability of the missing values given the observed. And then uh, from using this probability, we'll create a com uh, complete data, for instance, by imputing by the conditional expectation. Uh, and this uh, enables us basically to emulate the expectation in the, in the likelihood that um, um, ignores the missing mechanism. And then on this complete data, we can apply a standard routine from our favorite uh, package to maximize the likelihood of complete data. And we can do slightly better by using multiple imputation in step two, which is basically sampling in the, in the uh, conditional probability, uh, sampling missing uh, imputed uh, uh, plausible imputations in the conditional uh, uh, probability rather than taking uh, only one value such as an expectancy. Uh, now, <clears throat> Uh, in prediction settings, uh, those two uh, procedures must be adapted to be able to work on out of sample uh, data uh, because the, the, the naive way of writing imputation or writing expectation maximization does not know how to separate uh, a fitting procedure from a, a testing procedure from a, an inference procedure. Uh, and, and we're immediately hitting uh, one problem, which is that the predictive model is applied only on uh, uh, partially observed test data. So if you, if you give me test data, it's gonna have holes in it, and I need to have a predictive uh, model that works uh, on this data with holes in it. And so these, these are the, the settings we're interested in. And so our settings really is actually a, a merge uh, between the, uh, the two things that I've presented. Uh, here we focus on risks and not likelihood. Uh, so, I'd like to say that uh, the, the core results of um, uh, the MAR assumption, the historical one, does not immediately apply. And uh, some of the dogmas uh, may not carry over. Uh, we do have missing values at test time, so we need a function that must predict on missing values. And we have a challenge, which is that if we, if we just want to uh, take our textbook uh, statistical learning theory uh, 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 recipes, uh, procedures, and apply them, uh, we, we're going to minimize, for instance, the empirical risk. And the challenge is that uh, the, the function that we need to create is a function in a semi-discrete space. Uh, and sorry for the, the typos and the mutation. This doesn't really make sense. Um, uh, and so this semi-discrete space is going to pose problems simply because it's it's harder to optimize on this semi-discrete space, and we're going to easily fall in uh, combinatorial optimization problems. That's one of the set of problems that, uh, that we, we fall into. 